Hey there friends, how's it going? There are so many building challenges on The Sims and I wish I was a talented builder, but I'm not. So I have to take my own chaotic twist on it. I'm going to make a house that is only one tile wide at all times. Surely this is the one challenge I do that doesn't end in disaster, right? He's already not doing great for himself, but let's demolish this house. Sell his cardboard floor. Well, this is already awful. Now I have to figure out how to make items work because usually they need space. I'm selling these piles of leaves here. <laughs> I'm getting a bit of money. Who knew there was a gap in the market for leaves? The rule is I can't use the outside. Otherwise, it kind of defeats the purpose of the challenge. So I better sell this open air natural toilet. It's very used, but I still got $44. Okay, if I do that, it's still one wide. Can I use the fish tank? Because it's very fun. Sorry there, excuse me. Okay, great. He can still use the fish tank. Uh, no, I will not move. I am using the fish tank right now. I don't think there's any way I could fit a bed into this monstrosity, so that has to go. Okay, we'll just do a little extension here, and uh, that's where I can cook my food, I suppose. That doesn't fit. <laughs> Damn it. Oh my god, you can't sleep in armchairs. That's a big problem. That was a big part of my plan. Okay, not to worry. We'll just make another goofy corner here. <laughs> it actually works. You place the couch. I hope this works for nap time. Okay, this is the best value for money I can get, and that's pretty much all my money. <laughs> I wasted a lot of it on the expensive design layout of this house. Okay, let's see. Does it actually work? Come on. Come on. Lie down. You can do it. Yes! Oh god, his fiance just showed up. I don't think you want to see inside of here. Okay, I'll have to sell that mirror. I'll get something that hangs on the wall instead. There we go. That's your new mirror. <laughs> I'll try and get you some wall lights too. Okay, I know this is weird, but it's the cheapest light that I can get. So this is what you're getting. He's angry. I don't understand why. Power doesn't work off the grid. Oh god damn it, I forgot I'm off the grid. <laughs> this looks miserable. Meanwhile, he's just going insane. How has this woman not ran away yet? Oh right, I locked the door. Okay, well look, she'll be fine. She's plenty of room to run around and do whatever she wants, right? As I'm eating this five-day-old franks and beans, I've started to think maybe I should build a bathroom. I am short on money though. Maybe in Instead of building a bathroom, I could just have like a shower in the hall. I'll have to save for it because I, I can't afford it right now. What the hell is she doing? <laughs> I thought she was repairing the fish tank for a second, but I think she was stargazing or something. Okay, well, because I had the day off, I couldn't go to work to earn money. I couldn't afford a toilet and I have pissed myself and now my couch is taken. So not a great Sunday so far. I'm honestly just hoping it rains during the night so I can actually wash myself. I also have to make the executive decision. Do I wait for work to feed me? Or do I try the beans? You know what? To heck with it. I'll just start eating beans. Stop talking to me. I'm just trying to enjoy beans at 12 a.m. Oh no, the beans. Okay, he's nauseated. You know, it doesn't matter. Nap it off. Get off of my couch. Wait, now she's scooted over to that section. What the hell? I think she's stuck in there. I mean, it's kind of my fault. I did lock her in, but I didn't lock her on the couch. Get off my couch. Okay, she seems to be absolutely stuck. Well, that's an interesting turn of events. Okay, now it's just like she's torn. Me. She just keeps waking up, scooting over, and going back to sleep. Work starts in an hour. Thank God. Please bathe and feed me. Oh my God, I go to work and she finally gets up off the couch. Ah, that didn't last long. She just stretched her legs and went straight back. At least I'll come home with some money and then I can wash myself. That'll be nice. Yes, they fed him. Okay, that's good. I hope that keeps him going for 24 hours. Okay, and shower. Surely it can go here and they, they can just walk under it if they need to be washed, right? Okay, there is a slight problem in that it's a one wide house and this prisoner can't leave. Now, I could let her go, but I don't really want to do that. Oh, finally, at least I get to nap. No, you're not showering if I'm not showering. Okay, you- She forced me out of my own home so she could shower. I can't even use my house. Stop talking to me, I'm trying to sleep. Okay, so I'm gonna need a door to separate off rooms so he can shower, because I'm not letting that prisoner go. I'm not giving up on who I am as a person just for this challenge. Okay, shower will have to move though. Uh, God damn it. Okay, the mirror can go there, and then the shower can go where the mirror was. Get rid of the light so I can get a door in. $40. But you know what? For 50, I can get a glass one. And what says privacy? Like glass. Yes, I can shower. Thank God. <laughs> no, oh, my bed was stolen. Yes, I found a way of getting her up. Just pretend I need the shower. The thought of his naked body would frighten anyone away. Honestly, I know she's my prisoner, but I'm starting to feel like I'm the prisoner. No, then she can just wake me up. She's using my own strategy against 
me. Don't listen to her, dude. Just go nap. Come on, nap. Come on, you have work in the morning. Nap. Okay, I'm in a decent mood, all things considered. I'm gonna work, I'm gonna earn a load of money, and then I'm gonna expand the house. Oh, it's snowing. Not a great day to not have a roof. Come on, yes, he's doing good. I need a promotion here. Like, it's sad when a teacher can't afford a roof over their head. Oh, he's getting a call from his fiance. I've been thinking about getting to know Michael Bell better as a friend. <laughs> what are you asking exactly? If I were you, I would do that. <laughs> okay, I got some money. Excellent. Time for an extension. Okay, we're gonna go this way this time, but I need to try and not box myself in. Okay, well, I built the extension, but I can't afford a toilet. $32 for this rock. 56 for this one. Okay, I'm selling rocks. Can't believe I had such valuables just hidden in the yard, like rocks and weeds and a rabbit. Okay, that didn't get me any money, but I did send him to the void. Look at that, so much money for selling crap. There we go, you got a toilet. Okay, I think I'll get a promotion tomorrow. And I think I'll have to figure out a better way of getting energy. Maybe a coffee machine? Because I cannot get a bed. I need to be careful though, because I'm... This shape actually looks a bit dodgy now. But aside from that, like, I can't go out this way because- Oh god, I'm freezing to death. Hold on, pause while I explain my, my other problems right now. Oh my god, he looks so sad. But yeah, as I was saying, I can't build this way because it would make the hallway too wide. So I need to go straight this way for a while. Okay, and for the freezing to death problem, I just built a little roof over his house. I tried to just match it to the hallways and it is a mess. I think he's gonna need a roommate to bring in some extra dollars. Oh, this guy looks trustworthy. Yes, now that's what we're talking about. He's a young adult. He's so young and old at the same time. Very slim too. Slim pickings. Okay, now I can build a massive hallway. This is perfect. Okay, let's design a one wide kitchen, shall we? As I'm building, it seems like if I just move in one, it's, it's kind of like it's wider. So I'm actually going to lengthen these hallways. Like this, for example, that kind of looks like it's too wide rather than actually being long. So I'll fix that by making this absolutely useless space over here. Perfect. There we go. What a lovely kitchen. Oh, I do need a coffee machine though. Where can I fit that in? I guess I can just extend this way. Wait, that's not a coffee machine. That's a toilet. Why did I confuse those two things? I think we need a second bedroom too. So I'm going to try and sort that for them. But I, I need like another corridor out this way, I think. There we go. There's a second bedroom. <laughs> Yeah, look how happy they are now to have such a lovely home. Oh, I forgot the roof again. Oh, it's so annoying to do. Could I just drag it over the whole thing? Oh, I can. Lovely. There we go. That seems reasonable. Structurally sound, if I may say so myself. I should probably color code the room since it's kind of hard to tell which is which right now. Okay, so there's the bathroom. And I guess this is technically the bathroom as well. We got a bathroom slash bedroom over here. Another bedroom there. <laughs> I suppose this is all the kitchen, really. What color should the fish room be? be. <laughs> this has a mirror and a fish tank in it, and I'm not sure why. It's the only room with a door so far as well. Instead of blocking off the bathrooms and having privacy, I just have a privacy room where you go if someone else needs privacy. I think I'll just do every wall this color just to make it even more mad. I can't decide if the house reminds me more of like Spy Kids 3 or like a serial killer documentary. Yeah, I'm gonna go with serial killer documentary. You know what would be fun? I think we should host a party today and invite over a load of people. People to celebrate the new house design. I'm gonna have to unlock the door for that, so everyone but household members are allowed in the fish room. Now it's getting kind of meta. It's like a viewing window of a person in a cage, and then she's looking at fish in a cage. He just didn't go to work today for some reason. I have no idea why. Well, I guess I'll throw a party instead of working. Now that he doesn't have the urgency, the sense of dread of almost starving to death, he just doesn't go to work, I guess. Oh my god, everyone actually came over, and even a celebrity is here. Convinced to bathe. Yeah, let's do that. That sounds like a fun party event. This must be terrifying from her point of view. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, he's doing a Santa Claus impression. She liked that for some reason. They're all freezing to death. Rather than coming inside, they would rather freeze to death. I kind of understand it, to be fair. His wife is freezing to death, and even she won't come inside. I might need something fun in here for them to do, because they just don't want to come in otherwise. What about a living room over here? Look, it's pretty nice already. Oh, wait, I'm off the grid. It can't be anything electric. What's fun but doesn't use electricity? It's impossible. Why is it only aquariums that are off the grid and fun? There's chess, but I don't think there's any way I could get that working. Is there? I, although, I have an idea. Now, they can simply just go around. So I can have the chess board here. Oh, oh, oh how, how did I manage that? Okay, that plan won't work. Never mind that plan. I'll show you a different one. There, now we have the chess hall. That was so much more work than I thought it would be. It got confusing. 
thing. You know what it feels like? It's like playing the worst game of Scrabble. You're trying to connect out, but the rules just don't let you. Can I buy a generator or something for my home? Because I'm sick of having no electricity. Okay, there's a generator, but I'm not allowed to put things outside. So I guess it has to go inside. There we go. Carbon monoxide? Never heard of them. You also get a window if you play chess. This is the viewing room. Oh, I need recyclables to actually fuel the thing. I need another hallway for the recycling machine. Oh, someone's dying. Yeah, someone's freezing to death. Could you ladies get inside? Because you're my only friend and you're my soon-to-be wife. Ah. <sighs> Why does it always involve the Grim Reaper? Even if it's just poor interior design, everything I do ends with the Grim Reaper. There goes his fiance. <laughs> Read the room, lady. Don't just be complaining that you can't move. Something tells me people aren't enjoying this party. Oh, fires, come on. You're stealing everybody's thunder here. Oh, Jesus, this is bad. This is bad. This is not what we should be focusing on. Everyone comment and tell me what your favorite room in the house is. Okay, I'm going inside because... I for one see the pattern here. The longer we stay out here, the more likely we are to freeze. Anyone want a game of chess? You know, the reason there aren't more house guests is because I didn't know that many people and that number was already small, but now it has halved. Like these people aren't even here as guests. They're working here. It's just the worst work day they've ever had. That's all. Oh my God, they can't even sit down. Oh my God, this is brutal. See, I don't know if that's obeying the rules or not. I guess not. Because technically it's only one one wide here and here and here, but that's kind of like it's it's three wide there. As the creator of the challenge, I've decided it is not allowed. <laughs> I'm making it worse for myself, but fair is fair. Okay, this is my second attempt at a design to actually play chess. Now you go down this hallway if you want to sit in this chair, and you go around the other hallway if you want to sit in this chair. Now, I put a lot of thought and effort into this, so please play some chess. Yes! Okay, it works! <laughs> oh, I've never been so happy to watch people play chess. The Grim Reaper is coming all the way through the hallways. And Santa Claus? Nurture! What did you call me? What a night, huh? Three people dead, the Grim Reaper and Santa Claus showed up. I have lost nearly all of the 20 grand I got from moving Jim Pickens in with him. It's so expensive. Like, I've spent so much money just getting a chessboard to work. And the party's over, everyone died, chess really didn't help it. Okay, so to power the house I need to recycle, and to get recycles I need to make a mess. This path thing seems really confusing. Used. I have no idea what he's doing. <laughs> I think he's trying to collect everything. There he goes all the way to the bin. Recycled. Hey, I heard you became friends with Jim Pickens. He's pretty cool. You're dead. Can you leave me alone? I didn't pay you any attention when you were alive. Why would I start now? I think this is Jim Pickens' origin story. Like, he's not even got the evil trait here. I think he just went mad from being in this house. I heard about the passing of someone special to you. I wanted to offer my condolences. She's fishing for compliments, but he's just gonna be like, okay. Okay. Yes, promotion. Well earned, sleepy boy. You know, I'm starting to think that guests can't die from hunger, but now that I've proved that they can freeze, I guess I'll just take the roof off. There we go. I just hope my aquarium water doesn't go solid. I went to all that trouble and he doesn't even like playing chess. He refuses to play now. I do enjoy watching them walk around. Just the little top down view of them scurrying about. It's like having an ant farm, except you're intentionally trying to kill one of them for some reason. Like I honestly can't remember why I have trapped in here. What did she do? It's actually much easier to play from a top-down point of view. <laughs> yes, I can install a pool. Okay, I wanted a way of them getting some exercise. This works perfectly. Swim laps. There you go. Some nice exercise. Honestly, it's nice exercise just getting to the pool. Okay, Jim just picked up the trash and threw it through the wall into the garden. Oh, they can't get to the recycling machine because the pool is in the way. I thought they'd just swim through with the trash. Like a normal human being. I am running out of money. I have $15. And to be honest, I really want some windows. <laughs> there we go. Now he's recycling. That should be a lot of recyclables for us. I don't know how to actually use them, though. I really want power. How are you not dead yet? It doesn't make any sense. And I need my aquarium back. What if I move the aquarium to be this way. Could I still use it like that? Come on, swim across in your clothes for some reason. And now view fish. Yes, he can. Look how much fun he's having all of a sudden. Honestly, I'm not really sure what he gets out of this. But then again, we're watching him watch the fish. So what are we getting out of this? What the hell is he doing? Oh, he's sitting down. He's talking to Jim. He's just swimming there. Okay, I, I appreciate the conversation, but I really need to look at fish because I'm depressed. There we go. Went from depressed to impressed. Now, can you just stay watching? 
watching the damn fish. I know it's boring, but it's actually not. There we go. I've got him queued to look at fish for hours now. Okay, time to prove that this is actually a functioning house. I'm gonna move an entire family in with Kevin and Jim. Oh no. <laughs> oh no, I didn't think about this aspect. Okay, look, I'll build the baby its own little offshoot room in here. I'll also build a raw bedroom since we have an entire family to please now. I feel like I'm playing prison architect, not the Sims. Okay, this pool is becoming a major obstacle now. It was to nothing earlier, but now it's at an intersection. Whoever the parents are, I hope you know how to swim, by the way. He went all the way back to get a bottle for the baby. This Jim Pickens is a caring Jim Pickens. Oh, great. Now I'm being haunted. Wait, Jim is freezing to death. Where the hell is he? Oh, I must not have a roof over this part of the house. Yeah, that's that's just a little oversight. It's difficult, okay, to keep on top of stuff when it's this messy. Oh my god, this is a busy crossroads. Do we need to install some traffic lights? Okay, now it's getting interesting. <laughs> There's always a bit of activity now. They're moving in along their little ant tunnels. It's fascinating to watch. Oh, there's a crowd in the kitchen. I think we're all kind of stuck. God damn it, all the bedrooms are being used. Ah, oh, there we go, a free bench. This is so bizarre. Is someone drowning? Wait, how are you drowning? Ah, you were exhausted. Yeah, well, I guess that happens when you can only nap and you have to swim to get back out of the bedrooms. Well, that's an unfortunate design flaw in the house. Actually, you know what? That's not a design flaw. That's a you flaw. Your fault, not mine. I take no responsibility. <laughs> Who was laughing? Who was that? Why am I just bathing my feet next to the dead body? Stop crying, you're getting the pool all wet. <laughs> you know, I don't think I actually like this pool anymore since it's so dangerous, since they can just go in and die pretty easily. I think I'll install a door there and not allow me or Jim through there. Oh wait, that's not how the locking system works. Okay, you, you are the only one allowed in to help the baby. Oh, I forgot the prisoner was still here. She's hiding behind that wall. Can I add her to the family so she'll finally die? Huh, it doesn't seem like it. I'll just make you pregnant instead. There you go. Weird stuff goes on in this house. Well, the plan seems to be working. She's taking care of the baby all by herself. Is someone crying? What? Is it the ghost? Oh no, it's the kid. Okay, yeah, this is probably foreshadowing what's about to happen to all your family. I just realized once again my fish are hidden. I saw her wandering off and I was like, where is she going? Of course she's going to the fish. <sighs> the bedroom situation is getting too difficult to deal with. I might have to open up this place and just accept the danger that goes along with it. They're all immediately flooding over there. <laughs> I accidentally joined this person going to work and I really don't want to. And I don't think there's any way I can go home. Kills him. Oh, that works. Consumed by the mother. In this scenario, I'm the mother, I suppose. There we go. So she'll just never come home. Oh my god, every time I get to one of the couches, someone else starts using the thing. Oh, someone wants to come in and repair some of my stuff. Of course, come on in. The fridge has been sparking and it's really close to the baby. I also put a window right next to the baby so it can start at 10, nice and early in life. Dennis loves the outdoors. Well, I can understand if your indoors looks like this. Now that I'm done, could I hang out here a bit? Uh, no, no, thank you. You can leave now. Send home. The hell is going on there? I think a ghost is haunting my swimming pool, but he's just swimming through the earth. And Jim is going and swimming with him. All right, have fun, you two. Okay, Jim and Kevin keep trying to feed the baby. So the baby is being cordoned off because it is a drowning hazard. It is so hard to put him in a good mood, especially with the energy. But I am trying my darndest to get this man a promotion. Where are you going to eat the food? Okay, you want to eat your salad in the pool. That's not very considerate of you. Like, there's going to be salad floating in the pool pool now. Quick, get to work before you pee yourself. Oh, god damn it. The baby got taken away due to neglect. That doesn't make any sense. It was having fun in the sun every day. This house has turned far more deadly than I ever intended it to do. Like, it has claimed four lives and a child. And it's such a disaster. I'm not even doing anything to influence it. Well, the baby a little bit. But that was actually to protect them. That was for the greater good. But you know what? I'm not gonna let it ruin my day that we lost the baby. I want a promotion. Wait. I can block that off when they're sleeping? What would even happen in that case? She just slept right through the construction anyway. Oh, well, there you go. She's just trapped on the couch forever. Interesting that the game even allows you to do that. I'm kind of surprised. As if this house needed to get any weirder. Now there are children living in the walls. Yay, he got a promotion. Who cares about all that bad stuff? He was promoted to department head. Brands. France. Why is he talking about France? Oh great, we didn't pay our bills apparently, so the repo man is just taking everything. He is cleaning up though, so at least he's doing something. Anyway, France aside, I think we can say this was a huge success, can't we folks? So I hope you enjoyed sharing in the success, and check out some more of my content, would love to have you around. Bye for now.